So what are the factors you should consider when developing your photography per image pricing? So you're sold on the idea of per image pricing, but you're not sure how to go about it. Well, I have a few ideas for you. First, I wanna remind you that this channel is all about pricing for photography, and there are a lot of topics and issues that surround it. So if you don't wanna miss a future upload, be sure to subscribe. To figure out your per image rate, you need to start at the basics, and that is your cost of doing business. Now I'll put a link in a card above to a video on developing your cost of doing business. But you need to figure out what is your day rate or hourly rate. Now I know I've said, wait a minute, I'm all about per image rates. Put the value on the image and not your time. However, when figuring out your per image rate, you need to know this internal number of hourly and day rate. So your day rate or your hour hourly rate for me is an internal number that I use to figure out my per image rates. So I would look at my cost of doing business and get a baseline for the day. Let's use a day example. And let's just use a, a basic number. It's, it's not necessarily my rate, but some people use this rate. So we'll call it say $2,000 a day. And we'll say $2,000 a day is my cost of doing business. That's how much I have to make to make my salary, to pay my studio fees, to pay my insurance, everything. It, I just know I need to make $2,000 per day each assignment. From there, I will consider production. Well, maybe the production, I figure it all out, and it's gonna be about $500 just sake of argument, $500. And then there's the brand value. And so from there, my brand value is my reputation. And that is kind of the whole concept of why one photographer can charge $1,000 and another one can charge $50,000 per day. It's their reputation. In some cases, it's just because they asked. But we all have a brand value. And again, that is where we can add a premium because we are in demand, and the more you are in demand, the more you can add that brand value to your price. And let's just, again, for this example, call it another $500. And so that's now $3,000 for the day. Now we have use. Use is really has to do with either you know, the, where it's going to be used, like local. If you're in a metro area, you could call that your local use. If you are in a low, maybe not a high populated state, maybe the state is your local use. You have to figure that out. And then there's regional, that could be multiple states or a certain part of the country or, or whatever it may be. You can define those lines of what regional is. And then there's national, the entire country, and even international. The thing is you need to consider use because the value of an image is different, say for a mom and pop store who puts your photograph on a flyer and sticks it on their window, and a big company who takes your photograph and puts it in magazines and on billboards and sells high value items all over the world. Obviously the value of that photograph is different. So you need to consider that use. And we'll, we have a video coming up on the topic of uh, figuring out the usage, but you could just have a standard maybe a percentage, maybe local just covers this. So it would be $3,000 and maybe a regional you'd add 25 or 50% premium and maybe national it's a hundred or 200% premium on your standard local rate. I use the local rate as kind of my standard because a lot of my, of my clients are local. And so it's just easy to know what that rate is. So if I had 10, photographs to create in a day and I knew I could do all 10 in that day, I would use that ten that $3,000 uh, number, right? And divide by 10 and that would be my, my per image rate, $300 per image. And now if I had to add a premium based on local regional use. Now there's another type of use that is even more common today in the internet. Well, how many people are going to that website? For example, this company wants to use those 10 images on their website. So how do I price that? That's like international use. Anybody from any part of the world could see that photograph. And so what you can do is say, well, if your company has less than under 10,000 visitors per month to the website, could be considered local use. And regional use could be over 
10,000 to maybe 100,000 visitors to the website. And then national use could be 100,000 or more, or a million or more. That is up to you. You can set the guidelines to figure out how much of a premium you put on top of your rate based on the use of that image. Because obviously, the more the image is seen, the more value that image has. And so, you would figure that for that day, if you added a premium of 100%, and it's a 3,000 local rate, 100%, that'd be $6,000 a day. Divide that by 10, so that'd be $600 per image. Now, of course, you can decide based on the production value. Maybe you need to make sure that you sell at least five of those images. You can say, hey, you have to buy at least five of them, no matter what. You are in full control. And maybe you only have two images. So if it's only two images national, then maybe it's $3,000 per image. So as you can see, you can break that down. If it's 20 images in that day and you know you can crank out the 20 images at the quality you want, then you can break it down even further. Just keep dividing based on the number of images. And the thing is, sometimes you will maybe only get a eight images out of a 10 image day. That's fine. Um, some days you're gonna get 12 and that's fine too. As long as the client knows the value that you're going to charge, how much you're going to charge per image, you are in control of the sale. And let me tell you, most of the time I end up shooting more and the client is happy and they purchase more. And they purchase more because they know the value of the image versus it being put on my time, which we've talked about in the previous videos. So how much should you charge per image? Well, that is totally up to you and you understanding your cost of doing business and how you wish to approach your production, pre and post production charges, as well as the use of your images. So how do you approach use? Well, many of you create wedding, senior and family portraits. Well, that would be personal use. Sometimes you need to consider website use and that has to do with how much traffic goes to that website. Maybe it's distribution use. How many items are being printed using your photograph? Maybe it's the type of media in which your photograph is being shown, such as a billboard, magazine, or TV commercial. And sometimes it has to do with the location, local use, maybe within your state or province, or national, international use. My recommendation to get the emotion out of the equation is to use percentages. Know the percentage you're going to add based on different types of use. Maybe 10%, 25, 50, 100, 200% based on what the request is, the use of your photograph. This way you don't have to figure it out every time. Just add the percentage you've assigned for the different types of uses and it makes your life a little bit easier. So how do you use per image pricing and usage of your images? I'm looking forward to reading your answers in the comments below. And of course, if you found value in this video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. And of course, if you don't want to miss a future upload, be sure to subscribe.